Welcome back everybody. I filmed this video with Blackstone several years ago and times have since moved on. We're all better and our skills are better right now. I call it slamming Cajun salmon. Time to revisit it. We're going off the cuff here. I picked up the ingredients at the grocery store. Here we go. CJ, you're going to have to help me out with a on this one. Slamming Cajun salmon. Let's give it a try. We're going to be using the Blackstone Range Top Combo today. I have water boiling over here on the right. We're going to do pasta in a few minutes. And the griddle is preheated right around medium heat. Straight over to the prep table. Over here I have two gigantic Alaskan sockeye salmon fillets. These are from the Bay of Alaska. And I'll just slice this salmon up into serving size portions. Skin is still steel. Again, there I am with the steel. Grew up as a Steelers fan. The skin is still on the salmon but uh, I'll show you how easy that comes off when we cook it on the griddle. And as usual, I forgot my apron, so shout out to my mother who birthed America's Griddler back in 1972. She made me a couple of these cool aprons over the years. Eagles, deer, fish, a bunch of cool manly stuff. Start out with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, rub a little bit of olive oil into the flesh side of my beautiful Alaskan sockeye fillets. Mm. All right, next up, Blackstone's Crazy Cajun Seasoning. Where can you get it? Of course, you can get it at Walmart, walmart.com and blackstoneproducts.com. So think about this as a blackening spice, if you will. We are gonna, mm, we're gonna sear this fish up and it's gonna be delicious. Now I have to go into the kitchen and wash my hands. Over here to my side burners where the water is boiling away. Oh yeah. And we have some pasta. I like to use long and thicker pasta such as fettuccine or linguine. So we have linguine today. Oh yeah, here we go. We'll press that pasta down inside the water and allow that water to start boiling again. And I love to use cast iron and seasoned steel skillets on top of the griddle. This is a lodge, I think it's a 16 inch uh, seasoned steel skillet, they call it a paella pan. Straight down on top of the griddle so we can get it nice and hot. Then I can sit down and grab a drink of water, wait for that pasta to cook. First things first, I'm going to mince up four cloves of garlic. It could be three cloves, it could be five cloves. Do whatever you prefer. I like a lot of garlic and uh, four cloves, six cloves, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, eight, you get the point. Butter. What kind of butter? Unsalted, of course. Fresh garlic. No, you can use the salted stuff if you want to, but uh, my theory, and Nate agrees with me, Chef Nate, by the way, agrees with me that uh, you know if you go with unsalted, whoa, <laughs> if you go with unsalted uh, butter, then that frees you to add more salt, add more spices as need be. And to the butter and garlic, I'm going to add a minced, a diced uh, jalapeno. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Time to check on my pasta, my linguine. See where we're at. Ooh, 
I think we're at al dente already, of course. Al dente means firm, a little bit firm. I don't speak Italian, but you know what al dente means. You don't want it mushy, but you want to have just a little bit of a uh, little bit of bite. Mmm, a little bit of crunch. That's perfect right there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out and put that right there. And we can turn the side burner off. You should smell this, by the way. Next, we're gonna add heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is where we're gonna start to build a little bit of flavor. This side of the griddle is blazing, so I'm gonna put those salmon fillets seasoning side down. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh man. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue to build my sauce with diced tomatoes. And I brought my basil plant outside here. Several basil leaves. Leafs, uh, sorry about that, leaves, basil leaves. Don't, you, don't want you to think that my grammar is poor. Mm. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Hopefully you're gonna see this on camera. Oh yeah, right there. That is the color we're looking for. Fish is tricky. We're not doing sushi here. I don't want this raw, but at the same time, we don't want to overcook our fish. I'm using the Blackstone fish spatula, by the way. This has been out for about two years. Really thin spatula there. Allows you to get underneath those delicate fish fillets. Blackstone logo handle. You can buy this at a bunch of retailers. Just Google it. Blackstone fish spatula. And you can thicken your sauce any way you want to. Cornstarch, but we're going to use a little bit of uh, bread flour tonight. And that sauce will thicken up in no time. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you what, that salmon is smelling out of this world right now. Look how much that sauce thickened up. So we're gonna go ahead and put just a little more heavy whipping cream in there. It's all about flavor here, Fran. Just like when you go to a high-end steakhouse and they finish them off with butter. There's gonna be some fat. And uh, you, know, you, of course, could go the healthy route and just cook your salmon with um, olive oil or a spritz of lemon, but we want this to be a, a be deliciously uh, beautiful and savory dish. So there we go. The salmon is looking outstanding. Since I have a lot of salmon to work with here, I'll show you what you're looking for. You want this right here. You want salmon that easily flakes off. See, if the salmon's not done, that won't flake off like that. So it's a fine line between raw and perfectly flaky. We're nearing the end here, so uh, I'm gonna drop in a few tablespoons of my favorite Cajun. Uh, sauce, my favorite uh, Louisiana sauce, rather. Of course, cayenne uh, being the number one ingredient in Cajun hot sauce, in, in Louisiana hot sauce. Mmm, that color there. Mm. Maybe one more tablespoon of the cayenne sauce since we have a lot of our savory um, Cajun sauce over here. We want that flavor to go a long way and we want to turn that color to that uh, mm, pink, uh, slightly orange color over here. Now we can squeeze a fresh lemon. <laughs> oh my goodness, lemon and basil. Wow, it's a killer combo. I just dropped a seed in there but I saw my seeds. I'm gonna pull my uh, lemon seed out. Yeah, I almost forgot about my salmon, so time to pull the salmon. I'm gonna put it in a cast iron skillet here. Well, that's a good looking piece there. And another one. And another one. Mm, hopefully. Hopefully you can see that. That is the best looking Cajun salmon in Monument, Colorado, baby. My linguine's been hanging out over here over the boiling water, so it's still very, very warm. 
Uh, now I'm gonna grab my, uh, let me go down below here, grab my Blackstone silicone glove right there, buy those Walmart and um, where else can you get them? I think at blackstoneproducts.com. There we go. I'm gonna go slow here. I don't wanna spill this all over the place. Oh, I wanna get this pasta started. You don't wanna, there we go. Don't wanna break it apart. Let me grab a fork. That's what I needed right there. I needed another fork. Yeah. Get that in the sauce. And of course, we can keep adding more pasta to this since we're feeding the whole family. There's a little more. I'm using my hands, friends. This is what it's like when you're cooking at the house. I have too many uh, utensils here and only two hands. <laughs> there we go. So my paella pan is spinning around. It actually has a high center of gravity there. And that, <laughs> hopefully you can see it. That is what we're talking about. A little chopped green onion on top, or you could use chives. And I'll do one more sprinkle of Blackstone's Crazy Cajun Seasoning for flavor and because it's gonna give it a gorgeous look. Over with my incredible looking serving tray. Grab my uh, fish spatula here. And uh, this is gonna be a giant family size portion here. So we'll lay a few of these out so you can see what we're talking about. Take a look at that. And if you want to, you can even squirt a little more lemon juice on top. You know me, I'm all about the shock factor, but I don't think that words could even describe what I'm looking at here. Now I know that the salmon is the name of the game here, but <laughs> I am a pasta guy through and through, so I gotta give it a try. I'm also a guy that has to spoon roll my pasta. Oh. Mm. Oh, ever since I thought about making this a few days ago, I cannot stop thinking about it. And I'm gonna get into the salmon too. My, inspira my inspiration for this uh, is a restaurant, a little restaurant called Callaway's, I think. Is that the name of it, Scott? Out in Smithfield, uh, Utah. So I went there a few times with Scott, my boss, with Mike Midgley and some of my Blackstone coworkers. They had a Cajun pasta dish and I literally just recreated it from scratch. This is the second time I've made it. I'm telling you what, finishing things in the skillet is the way to go, because in the past I made this, and of course my sauce would run all over the griddle, and you know, you'd lose a little bit, obviously, because you have to keep raining it in out of the grease cup, but just finish it, you know, use your, um, use your uh, uh, griddle to sear up your food, to sear up your salmon, and then finish it in a saucepan, or in a big paella pan like this, oh, like this. And now I have to go in, Oh my goodness, oh, oh, go in for some of that salmon, mm. yeah, yeah, and I have to get a little bit of that sauce to go with my salmon, I'm all about the sauces, mm. friends, I don't want to sound arrogant, but I continue to amaze myself. It's not because of me. I'm not a renowned chef or anything like that. I'm just a guy that loves to cook. Grew up in Pennsylvania. My mother was a high school cook and she was also a really good cook on the side. Uh, after college, I became a line cook at restaurants. I worked as a dishwasher. I worked everywhere from Bob Evans to TGI Fridays to Applebee's, uh, Burger King, worked as a prep cook, a line cook, a fry cook, you name it. This is just, it just, ugh. cooking with the Blackstone with the range top combo i mean all the options of different ways we can cook has just a hundred percent reignited my love for cooking this literally is one of the best dishes i ever made mm. and i forgot to mention the skin on this side people always ask about that of course we started this side down uh and we cooked with the skin side down uh, skin side down second rather see the skin just peels off look how easy it is so you just leave that skin on helps hold the fish together when you're done you can just peel it straight off like that 
And that sauce, by the way, dynamite. It is rich. Oh, the heavy whipping cream. It has all that good stuff in there. The garlic has the green onions, the lemon, the tomatoes, and the uh, the Cajun sauce, the cayenne sauce, just has a really, really neat uh, flavor, or what should I say? It really enhances, I guess I should say, the cheesy sauce, the creamy sauce. It is so good. So friends, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. This really is delicious. I'm gonna go feed it to my family. Until next time, this is Todd saying praise the Lord and pass the, CJ, are you ready for this? Slamming Cajun Salmon.